Hey there, Karen from Karen Co Creative here. And I just wanted to drop in with a very quick tutorial. Um, forgive me, I'm not in my office because my kid's home with me today, so the sound might not be quite as good, but I was doing something for a client and I thought this might be helpful. This is her site. She does meditation training and also some support for parents. And she has a new free program that she wants to drop them into. And this would actually work if it was either a paid program or a free program. But I want to show you the value of the MailChimp landing page. Because if you have a Squarespace site, or even a WordPress site and you embed a MailChimp form in it to collect email addresses to try to drop them into a specific list so they get an automated an automated you know series of emails as part of the program you're not going to be able to do that without using Zapier so if you don't want to bother with Zapier you can do it using um, the MailChimp landing page so if I come back sorry I was looking for photos landing pages are under campaigns in MailChimp so here I am in her account. Um, if I go and create a campaign, I can select to do landing page. And then you would just name it, you know, program, whatever you want to call it. Um, and you'll be able to choose from a bunch of great templates. Wait for my computer to catch up with me since I'm not on the desktop. It's going to be a little slower. All right. So... I would, you know, again, these aren't going to be as design um, sort of sophisticated as if you're just to design a landing page in your website, but they do have some good options. So you can see, you can click through here. What I would do is if you're going to collect payments, I would pick one of the ones that already have a payment thing embedded. If you're paid, if a paid program, if you have a free program like she has, you can pick one of the other ones. I am actually working with this one here. Um, so I'm going to click out, let's go back because I already have one started. So I'm said I'm going to go down to one of the ones I already have to show you how to edit it. So if I come down to landing pages, it'll show up here. So this is the one that I'm editing that I'm working on. You'll need to create a tag for your program under audience. And then what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that you hit the edit audience. You also make sure they get a tag. So I have the three day program tag there. Um, if you don't have a tag created, you can also create one right here in this window. Hit save. So this is what's going to trigger the automation of your series. So when you create your automation or your um, customer journey as MailChimp likes to call them, you're going to trigger that by the tag. So when they get added to the list, they're going to be given a tag. Um, if you have this on a timer so that the program starts at a certain time, you're going to give them the tag and then have them wait until a certain date. That's in the journey part, but I'll have another video on that eventually. Today we're focusing on editing this content. So as I mentioned, I had selected the thing that's called wild country template, um, which is for lead magnet. There's no payment set up on this. You'll see I already started to customize it. So here, if you hover, you'll see where to click on the image to replace it. This is where you could replace your logo. And then here they have a nice form already embedded. So that there's some text you can edit. So you add your text, you can change the color here, font here, font size. I already have a nice little form in here. Um, I wanted the name to be, first name to be included. So I did that. Um, and I altered the button text and the confirmation message, message text. And then to change sort of the colors, this is the color of the text here. You see she has some blue and purple in her site. So that's what I have. Um, this is the border of the fields. You could also round them a little bit, which I'm not going to do. Um, this is the button font button background font, and this is the button border. So you see this one has a border here. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and do no border since on her site, there are no borders. So that's that. And then they have areas here where you can customize and add more content. Um, and you'll see when you go to preview it, this is what it looks like. So it's not bad um, once you populate all your content, it's a pretty good, um, you know, 
tool for the minimum paid plan on MailChimp. And this way, when they sign up, they're going to automatically be given that tag to go onto their list, which is something that you can't do if you just embed a simple signup form into your WordPress or Squarespace site. So super quick, but hopefully this um, shows you the benefit of the MailChimp landing page and how to go about customizing it.